two, one, go. Over the head. Oh, no. It's the 12 phase here from the men in white. And the momentum takes Freddie Stewart over. Hello and welcome to O2 Inside Line, live here from our Guinness Six Nation base at Peniel Park. We're in the gym, we're in the place where we graph well. The big lads graft, I, I try and look pretty. Uh, I'm Danny Kerr and every Sunday ahead of the games we're going to take you through an exclusive access look at what we've been up to, what we're going to get up to and we want to hear from you. So please send your questions in, use the hashtag Where the Rose, drop your questions in the box below. And this week guys, if you're in the UK, not outside because it costs a lot to send these sort of things to people. You've got a chance to win this shirt. It's a training shirt. It is a, it's a 3XL, so I think it's got Cole or Marla written all over it and judging by the smell, that's definitely Cole or Marla. So you could be the lucky recipient of a sweaty Dan Cole or Joe Marla training shirt. So the best question... Jacklers King of the celebration, Saracens, England bat rower, Ben Earl, everybody. Benjamin, great to see you. You look glorious. Great to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we've got, we actually got one of your friends, one of your good friends, one of your fellow back rowers, another Jackler. The Kami car, the Kamikaze kid himself. <laughs> Sam Underhill's there, everybody. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Are we playing this? Unders. Unders. One more, one more. Unders. Gets worse every time. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sam, you said you would only come on O2 Inside Line Live if we yes. played that as your answer. <laughs> in, right? in the rider, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good lad. Uh, boys, welcome to the show. Firstly, you, look, you both look great. Um, how are the bodies after a great win over in Italy? Good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Picked up a few knocks and cuts and whatnot. Yeah. Under his ears falling off. Oh, I've got yeah, like some off. sort of infected scab, but yeah. other than that. Lovely. Then his knees falling off. Crack on. Sam, your ear? It is falling off slightly. Okay. Can we get a close-up on that ear, if possible, together, yeah. at some point? Yeah. I don't so you know, know every how time, it's like, not going to... You know, every time the game stopped, that like, hundreds was just, like, <sighs> dying for more head tape. Yeah, it's not going to go away anytime soon, is it? So, just might have to wear a scrum out. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Boys putting the bodies on the line. Sad. That's what, that's what we love. Right, lads, we're here to have fun. Less of the game. Uh, we're going we're gonna to see how well you boys know each other. And on this show, we like to play a game called Fact or fiction. I'm going to read out two truths and one fake truth, okay? Mm -hmm. You're, the, uh, the idea is you've just got to decipher which one is, is fake. fake. truth, okay. also known as fiction. If only there was a word for a fake truth. truth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Fiction. We have three letter succinct. <laughs> Thanks, <I> Sam. <laughs> okay, shut up, please, <laughs> Sam. Uh, ben, which of these facts is actually fiction? i.e. not true a fake truth <laughs> <laughs> a fake truth a fake truth <laughs> about sam okay yeah. shut up fact number one sam is ordained and can legally host wedding ceremonies fact number two sam used to work as a painter and decorator whilst at secondary school fact number three sam could qualify to play for five nations via family and residences connections Okay, so I'm going to tell you my thought process for all three, right? Please do. For Please. the first one about ordained, I actually can see that. Like, I can see you donning some sort of, like, naval <laughs> uniform. Yeah. A bit like Friends when, jo when Joey Navy, right. Triviani did the hosting one of the weddings. I see we go. I see you doing that. Quite happy with that one. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. The second one, painter, I don't see, I don't see that. But I know you like a bit of DIY. So I'm going to stay with that. I'm going to hold that in my back pocket. Okay. The five nations... Why can't you see painting? 
Yeah, I, I, I'm decorated. Yeah, you like getting rough and ready, but then you wear stuff like this chain and stuff. <laughs> and it, just, it just doesn't work for me. So, the Five already. Nations, right? So, you've done, you've you've done Wales, minutes. England. Yeah. What's wrong with the bracelet? Ireland. It's a nice bracelet. My sister got me this for Christmas. Oh. It's, I'm sure it's lovely. Yeah. I just don't think it goes well with the painting. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't have it. I was, it was I'm going to say the lie is the, or the, sorry, the fake truth is the um, Five Nations eligibility. Okay, Sam, could you reveal? No, I think that's I think that's a lie. Yeah, I think it's the nations. Pretty sure, unless no. I unless I don't know something. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Have you got the um, have you got the answers? Presumably. Yes. Yeah. Apparently, that is. Well done, Rigsy. Well yeah. done, Ben. Well, well done, Ben. I know you. I know you, mate. Okay, painting, Sam. Yeah. Um, my granddad's a painter and decorator, so right. I used to get. Him, I didn't get employed. I didn't get paid. Like it. But I used to help him out. Yeah. I could have done with your help. I just yeah. spent. Thousands. We, small didn't do, we didn't do houses that big. Okay. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> what, like bar, like, like sort of a like shed. small castle, yeah. sort of. It was like, only the east wing, I need. Oh, so no, I'm sorry, Dan. Sorry, you done me that. I was like, what a shed. <laughs> okay, lads. Uh, Sam, your turn. Yeah. Which of these facts is actually fiction? <laughs> <laughs> Fact number one: Ben's mum is a former CEO of a major UK retail business. Mm. Fact number two. Ben has not only studied literature and Greek poetry, but he also studied the great philosophers. <laughs> Fact number three, Ben played cricket for Kent with Basball and England star Zach Crawley. Okay. Which is Really fake. tricky. I, I'm sure I've met your mum at some point. Um, Lovely woman. Belinda. Yeah, and it strikes me that she could have been very successful, or, or, or currently very successful in the line of work. Okay. You, um, Why would you say that, sir? Sorry? Was she wearing nice garments? <laughs> just, just Ben's sort of vibe, you know, gives, gives me that he was, you know, brought up nicely yeah. by, by successful people. That's what yeah, I get from. Yeah, yeah. I think he had a yeah. nice upbringing, didn't you, Ben? Nice, high-performing household. <laughs> <Very cool>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm getting. Um, the second one, sorry, was um, scholars. Yeah. The I think you've gone on about that before. Greek poetry. I remember something about that. Not gone on. Sorry, that's gone on. Yeah, you've you've spoken about that at length. <laughs> Um, at length before, um, yep. and you, you are a big cricket nose. So can they all three be true? God, like, it's that's it's difficult. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna say maybe maybe Ben's mum worked in another line of work. Maybe so I okay. think the other two probably so true. Okay. Ben, could you? I'm, really I'm sorry to say, Sam, you're wrong. The second one, I did study literature, but I didn't do any philosophy. So right. So we are talking technicalities, but that a tough is one. A, that that is a, it's a massive technicality, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, doing the questions here. Yeah. yeah. But we're talking. This is fine margins. Maybe mate. this is why they didn't call them lies. They're they're just, call them, they're not. They're, they're just not fake, fake truths. Yeah. They're fake truths. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they're manipulations okay. of the truth. But yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nigel, we, now. Nigel, we might need to up our game. I think. <laughs> the questions. Good question. Um, yeah, but it was a good question. Talking of good questions. Reminder: drop your questions below. The best question is going to win this lovely smelly shirt. Hashtag wear the rose. Uh, best question, we'll, and we'll sign it as well. Um, we've actually got a question already come in, guys, for, jo for johanna.morris.1997 on Instagram. And it's interesting about odour. Who smells the best in camp? There's not many. Joanna. Mm. Do you know what I think? I'm, I've just started room with, um, with Alex Dombrant, um, mm. and he, he smells really, really good. Nice. And um, I saw him, first thing he did, came into the room this afternoon, obviously dropped his bags off, quick sprig, spritz. quick yeah, sprig, and he's ready to go. Bit of a geezer, just a quick... Well, he's you yeah, know, a Crystal Palace fan, yeah. reading that what he will. Who's Makes he trying sense. to impress? Do you think Steve likes that? I don't know. <laughs> this is the first time we've, like, we've roomed together, so I'm, I'm excited to see, actually. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited to see, like, where he takes his, his smelling game. I've got, I like my room smelling nice, I've got pillow spray and whatnot. He likes to smell, not, and not smell nice, so, you know, maybe... Yeah. It's a nice collaboration. Okay, what, about, yeah. what do you reckon, Sam? Makes sense. I, I'd go with, like, no one stands out for you, I'd say maybe, like, Marrow. A lot of sponsorships, a yeah, lot of endorsements yeah, yeah, for right. various <laughs> fragrances and, you know... Serious yeah, cast, skin care, body it. care, he's a, yeah, he's, got a, he's got, like, a serious skin care routine pre-bed. There's Whereas a hamper, like, get ready yeah. with me, that kind of thing. There's like a hamper in the room waiting for him at arrival, yeah. I think. Yeah, he deserves that. For free. He Danny, you bit gutted you're not involved in that? No, I, I, I don't mind. I don't okay. mind. I, I'm, I smell rugged and ready, and that's the way I, it works. Okay. So. Uh, lads, so, big news around the world, actually. This this week, uh, the fact that Ant and Deck, because of Ant's success, I'm talking Ant, Jamie, George, mm. he's now the England captain. 
Anton Deck had to step away from being the social sex. Um, we moved up to board level mm -hmm. and we made some new announcements of a new social, some new social secretaries. And your name, controversially, Sam Underhill, was one of the four members of the mm. new set. Why is that? <laughs> Why are you controversially? Could you, why could you explain? It was, your it was words, Jamie. Not your words, Jamie's words. Yeah. Um, I'd be quite happy to get hold of that, actually, Danny. No, it's fine. From an outsider's perspective. Yeah, yeah, from an outsider's perspective. I just think Sam, like, here we go. Really nice guy. Socially, very actually, very Don't astute. Sam with it. With very some... astute. Did I did I first meet Sam Underhill, went future social committee leader? Absolutely no way. It's probably got hey. something to do. You're wearing a black vest last week yeah, in Girona. Yeah, it was 25 degrees. <laughs> and that's dare really I say hot. hot. Yeah. They were with like some cargos just and, just a and some Birkenstocks. Like that's a regular vest. Miles off it. Miles. Miles. Okay, let, let's let's let Sam speak. Um, I didn't realise we were picking social sex on their dress sense. Do you know what I mean? It's but, just um, it's just a, a, a taste. It makes okay, sense. Who, um, who are the social sex? No, look. Um, yeah, me, Ollie Chesham, Freddie Stewart, and Alex Mitchell. Obviously, Ant and Deck left a massive void that has taken four relatively novice social sex to fill. Um, I'll admit that, yeah. But I think, I think I'd bring an element of maybe logistics and organisational ability mm. to an otherwise fairly um, young, fairly useless group of, of men. <laughs> uh, Fred and Chez obviously have their, their sort of special bond. I think they'll be the, the face of the organisation. Yeah. What's their names? Dick Sorry? and Dom. Dick and Dom. Yeah, yeah we've got Dick a little picture here, Sam. And we jest, but you have done an incredible job. We just see a little picture here of... Freddie and Ollie. What, 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 what's going on here, mate? Can you just talk us through yeah, what's happening? Yeah, so we did here? a talent show in Girona. We really did. First bit of entertainment for the lads. Huge. Uh, the acts, of course, were the uncapped lads. Just to get to know them a bit, give them something to put on for the boys. Um, so yeah, Fred and, Fred and Chez obviously st stood up to the role of hosts. Yep. Here they are in traditional Catalonian garb. They look um, great. Yeah, they look great. They and they, they, they really great. did a good job. And uh, it was a resounding success, I think. The boys did a I can't take any credit, the boys did a phenomenal job with the acts, and I think a lot of fun was had. All yeah. jokes aside, Sam, like, I think you've done, you've done, you've done really well so far. No, like, out of, the, out of the four, I think you, you're probably the most um, thank you. surprising but most successful. Unnecessary, but thank you. You're Actually. welcome. I think you've been great. Can you maybe just give us a little taste of a couple of the acts? Maybe the best and the worst would be, would be yeah, great. Like, yeah. Do you want to take You don't have to name yeah, names. I, I think the best for me, it, for well, the best for me is um, Will Muir, also known as Horse, yeah. um, by the boys at Bath. He is a very keen pub sportsman, mm -hmm. and he decided that he would reenact Luke Littler, Luke the Nuke. So he went to the effort of buying a, a purple polo shirt and spray painted it, much to Henry Slade's disgust as his roommate. Spray painted it. All the took, sponsors. Took an after, did all the all the sponsors, and then he said within nine darts, hit bull. Hit bull, and if he didn't, he'd give a hundred euros to someone on the spinning wheel. Yep. And Randomly lo chosen. Lo and behold, he hit it within six. He did. Funnily That's enough, good. yeah. That's good. yeah, yeah it was I thought. Brilliant. But it was the his swagger around yeah. the dartboard was. He, we probably need to let that. We stage need to presence. get that out. Stage presence was brilliant. And talking to stage presence, one person didn't. Max Ajomo. Stage presence was an issue. That was Ben Obano's feedback as a judge. Yes, um, he, he tried. I think he tried. He didn't project particularly well. Didn't engage with the audience. No. Didn't give them that. Yeah. He was static. Wasn't it? it was a stage. Was quite a daunting static. space, and he just yeah. tough to sing. Mario Wine is "Let Me Love You" is a tough ass. Guys. Full white. I'll be full honest. white. No, he did go chain. big with the soup. <laughs> but just not he did, but it, but it is yeah. tough. Um, another another <laughs> thing that's taken over camp for the backs is. The show The Traitors. It's mm. still ongoing. And we actually had a guy on sat where you were last week in George Furbank who mm. told us all he was a faithful. And as we're going to see by this clip, we actually found ourselves a traitor this week. So as you can see, boys, some very happy. We, we've caught, we've actually caught two traitors this week, and you actually were there. Fake truthers. 
Fake yeah. truthers, <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. Freddie nice Stewart time. was also revealed as a trace. Could you just quickly, very quickly, so we've yeah. got a time schedule. What happened with Freddie? We were waiting for a taxi. Uh, Fraser Dingle was here. Freddie Stewart, probably where Ben is. Uh, Dingers gets a text on his phone saying, let's kill Dingers on the main back screw <laughs> from Freddie. Uh, and then turned around and said, Freddie, what are you doing, mate? And Freddie just put his head in his hands and he'd sent it to the wrong group and outed himself as a yeah. traitor. I hear he did quite well to, to bring it back. He yeah. tried and some idiots in the group believed him, even mm. though there was 100% fact he was, he was a traitor. We got rid of two traitors this he week. blew it. It's been huge. Right, yesterday was a huge day, boys. Five new caps. Um, Special memories for those boys. Great that we could cap it with a win. Um, I think we're going to show a little bit of footage here of Finn Smith and his family. But how special was it for them? And you know, how amazing is this being able to share it with your with your family? Yeah, I mean, it's the highlight of your career, really, isn't it? I mean, we've all been in that situation, seeing our loved ones after games, after debuts, and it's awesome. Um, I think he actually, I think that family there, people they're hugging there, they were up the latest uh, last night. And so <laughs> good. Um, yeah, they, were, yeah. they were, they were, they had a good buy into the the cause and uh, good on them. Do you yeah. have memories of your first cap boys? Were, you, were your family there? Yeah. My family weren't there with my first cap, so I didn't, I didn't get this. Oh, sorry. Oh. Violin, anyone? anyone yeah. Violin? Sorry, so, that was quite sad. Um, do you want to stay on that for a bit? Or? No, no, please. Go um, more. Tell me about your family. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> they obviously love you more than mine. Love mine. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. No, no. Um, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was Argentina 2017. Uh, yeah, it was, was class. There? How was that? Yeah, you were, of course. Yeah. The talisman. You were doing all the auctioneering on yes, the bus. Course, yes. When lads left their kit behind. It's not about me, Sam. It's no, it's you. not about you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, mate, it was class. I think, like you said about having family there, it's like one of the biggest things is like having, having family, having friends, having your, your partner there after a game to share it with is so, so much more special. So I think that's one of the big things from the weekend was how many lads had friends and family out seeing them after the game. Did you sing after? After my cap, yes. What did you yeah. sing? Um, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. How does that so, one go? A good long, long time ago, I can't remember. Right. Yeah, it's like one of the cra classics, can't remember okay. it. Then what was your first cap song? Uh, She's Electric by oh, Oasis. Cute. It's a banger. Can we have a little bit for the O2 Inside Line come live come viewers? On, come yeah, on, that'd, that'd be nice. Taste. Yeah, come on. Nice. Can I use that as a mic? Of course you can. Please. Thank yeah. you. So you obviously when you walk up, it's actually quite daunting. I've got, I've actually got um, <laughs> our old head coach sitting there, like there. And I've, had, I've got beer in hand, cap on. Oh, he's not scary, is he? <clears throat> It was quite scary. Right. Anyway, and the, the, everyone's, you know, everyone's kind of like booing you before you've started, and you have to start well. Yeah. So I said, oh, boys, thanks for a great day, etc., etc." Got the Calcutta Cup at the back of the bus, and I just start and go, she's electric. She's got a family full of eccentrics. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 And actually, yeah. actually, it turned out that it was Wiggy's first uh, uh, cap song as well it? later on there. Thanks for that. Wow. Nice. How did nice. you remember that 30 odd years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please still pick me. Really, really, really <laughs> nice. Though, right? Thanks, really Sam. Nice. Thanks. Boys, we're in the gym. Um, it's where you boys lift some incredible weight, and there was some big weight being shifted by a big man this week, Alice Genge. Um, 185 kgs, I think, there were on this bar, Ben. You said you were. You warmed up for this before, did you? you so me and Ellis, um, I've got this thing going on at the moment where we bench together, which is, for my self-esteem, pretty bad. So I like do like 160 for three, and that'll be like a, a real struggle. That's look pretty, look, uh, look uh, what he's doing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. But look at the way. Look how that's flying up. That flat 185. Yeah. Um, and clips. I think if there's any noise on there, you can actually hear me say, just scream to him, it's a mindset. That's like our thing at the moment, it's kind of weird. But mindset. it's a mindset. The weight's only as heavy as you think it is. Yeah. Um, and in my case, it's feeling really heavy at the moment. But right. for, <laughs> for Genji, it's feeling yeah, yeah. Okay. light as a feeling feather. Lighter. It's feeling yeah. light. But it's like, great to see he's, he's, he's lifting as well as I've seen him. Okay, quick trivia for you. Now, this is Niger's. So this, again, <laughs> could be completely wrong. Well, do you know what the world record is for a bench press? I can't believe that this is right, but please... Three something. You think it begins with three? Four I don't three. think it can begin with three. I think it has to begin with a high two. Two ninety. Okay. Well, I think. Okay. Four. Well, that's wrong. <laughs> so no, three seventy. It, no, it's, this apparently begins with a six. Box. No. Apparently, it it's six hundred and twelve and a half kgs on a bench press. Wikipedia. Okay. Wikipedia. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. But who's the heaviest you've ever seen bench? And what was it? Um, and when were? Where were you? 
uh, Max Laheef, maybe. Oh, yeah, he was good. Bath. Yeah, he, and he spent a lot of time in the gym. Yeah, he yeah. does spend. That and the rope. You ever seen rope? Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, rope. the rope's good. He'd enjoy that. Um, mine would be Bialo, um, big, tighter prop. He was at Sarri's. He, he, he would grind 200 for three with, oh, with an ease. Huge. Mm. It, was, it was good to watch. I think Jose Marla. Jose Marla's yeah. hit, the, hit the 200 before yeah. as well. I've seen him. Uh, probably good. because, lads, they're eating all these eggs. Now, uh, our chef went a little bit viral as well this week, talking about, apparently we eat 300 eggs <laughs> per day, which is 2,000 eggs per week. Now, in our room, I would say mini eggs, yes. <laughs> Actual yeah. eggs, no, but apparently... You, can you believe I that, believe boys? I was, ske was sceptical when I heard it. Do you go for it. eggs in the morning? I do go for an omelette in the morning. Oh, yeah. How do you like them in the morning? You like an omelette? An omelette wrap. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he does the omelette and then he puts it in a little yeah, tortilla he's, he's, wrap for he's, you. He's, he's very good. He is very good. He's Brilliant. very good. He, and like, he also can like, if you ask him like, oh, that's a nice bit of equipment, he can set, he'll send you the link within a minute. I think he has steaks mm. in like, in like induction heaters and stuff. <laughs> he's on it quite hard. But yeah, he's he's, he's great cook. He's been with us for a while now and he has. just seems to be growing campaign on campaign. He's so. just doing a great job. He's yeah. doing great. It's things. a real pick me up in the morning. Uh, roomies, boys. Uh, we've been we've been rooming in. We roomed in Girona. We actually had our own rooms in Rome, which was really nice. Yeah. But who who have you been? Who you been with? Good roommate. Girona, roommate. Tom Pearson. Good. Good roommate. Yeah. yeah good roommate. Um, light snorer, not heavy. It's funny. It's funny you say that. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, talk to you yeah. about that after. Um, and then got Maro. Got Maro here. So we'll see. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good result. I have had George Ford in Girona, and I have to say that was. I don't know if Max Mayer is watching. I was used to room Max Mayer. George Ford. That was just a life-changing experience of how nice it was to room with him. Oh, sir. So. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> are you saying it's Sorry. way nicer to room with Fordy? I think that's what he was saying. Yeah. Like only because Max was an unbelievable roommate, but Fordy is just takes it to a new level. There's not a bit of clothing that's not <laughs> outside of the bag. Just didn't need to bring Max into this. No, at no, all. no. I feel like like Ford, Fordy's Fordy's routine, the way he goes about his work in the room, is is second to no one I've seen. <laughs> okay. I've now started rooming Alex Don. So, like, I've gotten two different experiences. Yeah, yeah. So, George okay. Ford, way better roommate than Max Mayer. No, no, no. No, sorted. no, no. <laughs> it's fine. Um, uh, so also, okay, so you're, you're also apparently I'm Tom trying to Pearson do a link in the now, list. Ben. Sorry. I'm going to try and do it. It's Danny's show. Sorry, it's Danny's show. show. We're, do we're all just living in it. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> <laughs> well, this road's returned this week, taking you behind the scenes in Girona, and the main focus was on our good friend and our new captain, Jamie George. Didn't I look like Luke Littler? <laughs> Two out of three. It's, it's, we're close, lads. We are close. Stay with me, Fred. Yes! Yes! I think probably the initial conversations with Steve happened, you know, ten days or so ago. Uh, I went and met him in his office, which was awesome. And then, you know, we were just talking more globally around where we think the team is, how we want to move forward, how we want the Six Nations to look. And, you know, Steve's the sort of coach that always wants to try and make the environment better and see different ways of, of improving. And, um, and then the captaincy topic came up and, and he asked if I was interested in being captain for the Six Nations, but then suggested that probably I should have the weekend to, to think about it, which I think is... Amazing from him because initially I just wanted to say yes straight away, but you know he sort of elaborated on his experiences of that and um, the impact it can have on on the people around you. And so I had a, some good conversations with my family over over the weekend, which was really nice at a time when probably my family needs it most. And uh, the feedback from my family were that you know you have to take this opportunity. And um, so I phoned Steve on on the Monday, and um, yeah, pretty surreal few days to be honest. So that was This Rose, the first episode of the new series. Make sure you head to the England Rugby YouTube to check it out and catch up and see what's on the episode next week. Uh, right, this is O2 Inside Line Live. I'm Danny Kerr. I'm here with my good friends Sam Underhill and Ben Earl. And we're about to play our favourite game. It's the back to front game, everyone. Round of applause yeah. for the back to front game. Yeah, come yeah. on, yeah. the back to front. Okay. We're going to have a little, I think we're going to have a little look at how maybe I was last week or how George Furback was last week. And also a little reminder, Ben, you've played this game before. I've done this before. We've got, I think we've got a little bit of footage of you yeah. attempting this game last time. We can oh, 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 fix it, George. Watch the, the cameras. Watch the cameras, whatever you do. Here we go. So here's George Furback. 12. 12. Oh, 12. Go. 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 Go
two. Oh, the oh, big, oh, the big oh, back. Oh, Eleven. Twice. Oh, is that a 12, 12 as well? <laughs> one. Too much height. Not even one. Not even one. He didn't start behind. One. one. Two. I don't think. <laughs> two. Have we got two yet? <laughs> and that two. is time. Two. Okay, so Ben, I, I, I thought I was bad at this game. However, you've taken that to a whole new level. And I can't believe you only got two. I was awful. You got two. We're going to give you another go, though. Yeah, today. well, apparently I need to have another go. I was quite happy bringing up the rear, but... I'm being yeah. forced to have another go and embarrass myself on live TV again. Okay. So, how long okay. did you get for this? So Twenty seconds, Sam. Sam. They, they can't be real scores. Uh, well, with the, there's a there's a question mark over Rachel Burford. There really is. Why is it 15? Not what I was going for. Scratch, Scratch, 15, first attempt. She got 15. Second right. attempt, nice. Unders, Second attempt, I, I, Unders, I see you beating these lot. I just yeah. I think you've got it. it feels like a lot. So Sam, on seeing you do it. 20 seconds is going to be on the clock. Much you you've got to pass the ball from back to yep. front to back to front to back. Got to go over shoulder. Just over your shoulder. Yeah. I think Berth was a little bit shoulder. Yeah, so okay. just just Lovely saying, game. I think you could you could play around with that a little bit. But okay. here we go. 20 seconds. You're going to have a go. Sam, ben, quickly. you're going to have a go. It's a mindset. Thank you. <laughs> Can we have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Three, two, one, go, Sam. One, two, Good. off the off the. What's your ear? Yeah, Three. Sorry. Come on, Ben. Yeah, come on, Sam. Yep. Five. Keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, keep going. Twelve. Keep going, Sam. Weird. Thirteen. Hold on the track. Fourteen. Nine. Fourteen. Oh, Sam yeah. Under. Look at that. Yes. Wow. Unders. Unders. Okay. Surely, because he's a forward <coughs> he's and he's got yeah. short arms. We can put him above Ollie Lawrence. It's mad that yes. you said I've got short arms. Yeah. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. He, yeah, he does go above Ollie Lawrence. Thanks, guys. Uh, quickly, there was a, just before we finish up, there was a little bit of banter between you two. Who's the tallest, wasn't there, this week? Can we just have a quick back to back and get can the we, camera three on? Shoe, three shoes off. Shoes off. Yep. Quickly, yeah. in the next three seconds, please, immediately. Back to back. The tallest oh. person. Oh, my days. Hang on, hang on. His heels are well Dip down. <laughs> Dip down. Okay, it's Unders. Yeah. Da, 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 da. All right, Ben. That's well, justice. it's in the Italian programme. That's justice. So okay. the ball. 20 seconds on the clock. Can I, can I, what was your thought process? Um, I stopped thinking at one point. I just yeah, kind of quite started, a nice start. started doing. Okay. Okay, here I we go. I didn't realise we were counting forward and back. That's what got me. 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Go, Ben. Oh, that was one. A really good start. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe Ooh, a more upright God, back. God, three. A little bit more tempo. I beat my four. Part. It's a mindset. Yeah, there, we go. Ben. there we go. Five. Maybe more, up, more upright. Maybe. Six. <laughs> what? Take that, is, guys. Seven. <laughs> yeah, eight. Dude, yeah, you've beaten be me. Yeah. You've beaten me. Ten. <laughs> you could beat unders. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, I do now. What's happened? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> I told you, you just stopped thinking at a certain point. No, that was it actually, just, I'm actually... Really... Right, move me up here. Yeah, okay, so 13... Everyone down, Tom Curry. For Ben Earl. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are those two Muppets? It's, um, Jamie <laughs> George! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you got and I'm above, above Mitch. Above Marcus. And I'm yeah, above Marcus. You're above Mitch, you're you above to. Marcus. Let's step away so we can have a look at the leaderboard. Sorry, I'm just going to change this. You can turn that into a three. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh. Art. And there we go, boys. Congratulations. Um, it's, not just, it's not just a low to inside line live that we're getting to know the players. There's also the England Rugby podcast coming in a few weeks. While you wait, here's a throwback to last season. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line. I'm Freddie Stewart. I'm Lark Davis. I'm Courtney Laws. I'm Sarah Beckett. I'm Danny Kerr. I'm Holly Itchison. I'm Tom Curry. I'm Ellie Kildon. I'm Ollie Lawrence. And wherever you listen to your pods, make sure you're subscribed to England Rugby Podcast O2 Inside Lines. Get the, get the new series from the new players when it comes out and also check out some of the legends that have already been interviewed. Uh, right, a few fan questions now. And remember, this nasty shirt is, is on offer. So, uh, we've got a couple here. Juanman75 on YouTube. Who would be the best Love Island contestant in the squad? Great question. Great question. I assume it doesn't matter if yeah. lads are... No, so, you, so everyone's, everyone's single. On a, yeah, everyone's single. Um, 
Yeah. yeah. I think you'd go fairly well, Danny. Uh, I think I'm too old now, mate. Yeah, um, just wanted to be nice. Uh, <laughs> I think Dommers would be good. He, he's a massive fan of, this, of the show. He does. He knows how it works. He knows, you know, the intricacies of the politics yeah. and the. Hasn't got the quite the rig that the, like, the normal clients have. Might be endearing, yeah. maybe. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's, you might get a few votes for that. Yeah. How how have I not come into this conversation yet? <laughs> Do you, sorry, I didn't think we'd be backing like. You're going to back us, yourself, yeah. Ben. I'll put. Do me, you, you go Marla, well. Jamie George. <laughs> There's your three. <laughs> There's your three. So you know when like you know when like you first come in and it's like the contestants, right? And like that like, they pick each other. They think you're on the wrong show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it would be quite. You, you know, we're talking about doing traitors. Like there would be. Is there a world where we could do like a love a team love island? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't know how it would It'd work. Be it would be, it it would be, be quite funny. We we'll give it wig, and he can sort it. Yeah, wig. I wouldn't mind doing team traitors. Team traitors. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Once this traitors, once thing they've is caught out. you, we can start. Uh, Juan Man seventy five. Great question. Connor Wilson on YouTube. Who's put the best hit in training so far this year? <laughs> wow. Um, um, is it me? Elliot's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Yeah. He gets a bit rattled in training. He, he can. He can. Pull out of the bag. Um, some of the yeah, it's more just the outside backs, I think, just because of like mm. the nature of how the collisions work. The speed, yeah, a lot of speed. Um, Elliot always takes it a bit too far. In training yeah, as well, doesn't I, he? Elliot, Elliot. I'm fairly sure he's got it in him as well, though. He put yeah. Alan, he put a great hit in on the weekend. He did, didn't did, he? did yeah. Poor Tommy Allen. Uh, right, thank you so much for those questions. Ta we're going to sign this bit of kit, boys. I think we've got a pen somewhere, haven't we? Here's a pen. Nice, thank you, boys. Sorry, can you just of course get a little squiggle on that? And how will I announce the winner? And the winner for the Love Island question, it's Juan Man 75. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll get this shirt signed. As long as you live in the UK, Juan Man, we will be, we'll, we'll be checking. And if you do, then we will be sending this shirt to you. As I said, I'll sign it in a second. Uh, it's probably got a lot of Dan Cole's sweat on it, but you might... You might be into that, so here we go. Uh, boys, last, last couple of questions from me. Um, we're back at Twickenham this Saturday in the Six Stations. We're, we're one from one. We went to Italy and got the win. How special is this week going to be, being back at Twickenham? I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, being back at home, seeing that, like, that wall of white everywhere, um, that drive-in, the walk-in, the, the whole experience, it, it makes all the hard graft that you do in some torrid conditions worth it on days like that so um, all being well I'm really looking forward to it and Sam the rest of this week what does it look like give us a little bit of an outline of the next few days uh, yeah tomorrow will be a bit more detail orientated so we'll get through all the the review preview stuff we need to and then I imagine Tuesday will be a bit of a physical day um, get moving again get into our get into sort of like high speed a lot of running uh, what we need for the weekend and then Thursday probably a similar sort of feel and then Friday will be hopefully feeling good at that point it's an exciting week. The Welsh are coming to town. Quick question. You have to choose one. Welsh rarebit or Welsh cakes? What would you go for? Welsh cakes. Welsh cakes. N no brain. Rarebit. Rarebit. Yeah. That's rarebit. Um, <laughs> ben of and Sam. Think that's controversial. Let's just, let's just let Sorry. it. It's his show. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Sam, thank you so much for joining us. I think we'll all agree they have been fantastic. Yeah! Yes. Jeremy boys, brilliant. Maybe a tree. We could be a trio. Oh, going yeah, forward. Yeah. I don't think Deck would like that. I oh, think he wouldn't like that. Ant wouldn't like no, that. We'll split it like 60, 20, 20. He didn't okay. like you having a solo career. No, he didn't. <laughs> He's actually fuming about it. He didn't, did he? Um, right, that's it from us, from us here at camp this week. Remember to follow All England Rugby Socials and use the hashtag we, well, sorry, we, use the hashtag wear the rose to get involved. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. So whet your appetite. Here's a bit of England Wales action.